Well, it turns out, Tim, in New Mexico, the land of Le Juan Grisham, the mini tyrant herself who writes dictatorial orders with the stroke of a pen outlawing Second Amendment rights. That's the place we're going to in this Maryland adventure. But it turns out that San, San Juan Sheriff probes advocacy groups gun buybacks in Farmington. No, not an advocacy, advocacy group, Tim. They're trying to do so much good. Man. Yeah. Oh, this 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 group's a peach. Like I've been digging into them and their their tweets. <laughs> And the, the more I dig, yeah. I, it's just, it's stunning to me. Not only are these scoff yeah. laws, but if you take a look at the fact that they they claim right on their ex Twitter page that they are a 5013C nonprofit. And then going mm-hmm. through their feed, I see all these things where they're making political statements, lobbying, meeting with Congress critters, talking about assault weapons ban, promoting the Go Isn't Safe Act, all this stuff, which is a direct violation of being a nonprofit. You can't engage in political you know, discourse in that way. You have to be neutral in everything you do. You can't wow. take one side or the other, and they're clearly taking sides. And so they're not hmm. only doing that, but then you got them going out there breaking state and federal gun laws, which we covered Man. in the last segment with the G3. These guys are just unhooked. We did. And, and they're indignant about it. We'll get into all that. <laughs> oh, oh, indignant just about covers it. Well, if beautiful people, you did not see our Goofy Gun Grabbers episode that we filmed yesterday. Here it is. This is uh, number two, Dr. Button Pusher. This is from the New Mexico Prevent Gun Violence. That's that's their whole thing, right? Picture an unwanted firearm from a household in Farmington, Farmington New Mexico. Our gun buyback was canceled by the city, but local residents asked us to show up anyway. So we spent <laughs> we spent today dismantling guns house by house and posted that picture. Well, now, Tim, just kind of a summation, like some backstory here, very high level. You kind of went into why they may have goofed. They may yeah. have goofed a little bit. Can you remind the people? So I was one of the first people to, to jump on this when I saw it. And so I've just, if you get on my Twitter feed, you'll see how I've just kind of progressed oh, yeah. through my discovery of all the stuff that they've done and pointing out, you know, the problems with what they're doing. Now, I just want to preface this mm-hmm. conversation by saying I don't support the laws that they're breaking, right? No. We actively lobby against them. We try to get these repealed. And as I said in our Goofy Gun Grabber segment, I wouldn't report this person. I didn't tag any federal agencies or state agencies in my tweets. I was just having a debate with them. Now, other people probably reported them, but this this post on their own oh, went out there did. and got a, over a million views. So they did it to themselves, right? Mm-hmm. And, and so... And I did see other people, lots of other people tagging ATF, tagging the, the you know, uh, the sheriff right. in the in the region, tagging, you know, state law enforcement, all this other stuff. People were tagging all sorts of folks. And they finally got the attention of the sheriff. And um, yeah. yeah, I mean, these, so why is, these, these so why is this a problem in this image? Well, yeah, so this, in this is, image, though, why is that a problem? So New Mexico has a law on the books that m- makes it required for you to get a NICS background check, even on a private party transfer. So. Braden, if you and I lived hmm. in New Mexico together and we we're next yeah. to neighbors and you wanted to buy a shotgun from me. And I said, sure, I'll sell you my 870. We got to go down and get a next check from a local FFL before we I do. can complete the transfer, right? Legally under state law. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. they're universal in the Mexico. Universal background checks is what they call that. Yes, they call those universal background checks. And so this, mm-hmm. this group is in New Mexico. So clearly they're subject to these laws. That's why you get the NM and right. the PGV part, New Mexico is uh-huh. an M, that part of it. So anyway, they're there and yeah. they completely ignore the laws. Apparently it would seem because they post this picture it, it, of it all these guns that they went house to house doing this, this, <laughs> this dismantling, yes. let's call it, because it is not a demilling per federal law. That's right. And then they tried That's to right. claim that no transfers took place. They, mm-hmm. they tried to cover up the fact that each one of these firearms has been illegally cut, meaning The ATF has very strict requirements on Mm -hmm. how you must destroy a firearm for it to be truly destroyed and no longer a firearm in the eyes of the federal government. What they've done here doesn't constitute a demilling. They are still firearms. Everything you see in that picture is a gun, according to the ATF. Moreover, Mm -hmm. everything you see in that picture, most of that stuff, the receiver is the actual gun, according to the feds. (laughs) I would suspect many Uh of those don't meet the minimum overall length requirements now. So oh, are you have, insinuating that they made SBRs and SBSs? Yeah, that, that, that could be the case based upon this picture. Man. Now, this is a collection of guns in one place, but they claim no transfer took place in, in other tweets. <laughs> well, if you didn't transfer anything, yeah. how did all the stuff from all these houses come together in one spot for a photo op? If there wasn't exactly. somebody changing and, hands guns, then, then digging around, then, I found then. a video 
of these guns being taken to a Farmington school and given to minors, but they weren't transferred according to them. They didn't do anything. They dismantled things on site, and that was the extent of it. No, you made illegal, likely, SBRs and SBSs. (laughs) Then you put them in a car, drove them to school property, guns. I'm pretty sure there's a 1990 law out there that has something to do with this. Took guns to a school and transferred them yet again to minors. Minors. And so, yep. again, guys, in my personal opinion, taking a gun to school for a shop class or something like that, I think should be allowed. When I was a kid in high school, one of my buddies got permission to bring in the frame of a handgun to make custom wood grips in a wood shop class. That was back then. Ain't going to happen today. But, you know, so I'm, again, I'm yeah. not saying that I want these people jammed up on these laws. But if you're going to go out there and advocate for these laws, which they're clearly doing, you better abide by them. Oh, absolutely. And that's the and that's the whole point of this video is the ultimate irony of the people who have advocated for these laws to infringe against New Mexicans to pinch people at random. They just got pinched themselves. But the best way it was, it was because of virtue signaling of themselves. I mean, like it was it's full circle. I said on my video, it's it's full circle microcosm of gun controllers. I think that's the best way to say it. Um, But yeah, so the sheriff is now involved. Listen to what the sheriff said. This is number four, doctor. Um, I don't have anything against the New Mexicans to prevent gun violence, folks. Um, I just need to make sure they're operating lawfully like everyone else. And I personally don't believe gun buybacks work (laughs) to curb gun crime. (laughs) So he had to throw that in there, of course. Of course, he had to throw that in there. But yeah, it it turns out, Tim, that a little more irony to pour on before we get into your part of the doubling down, because they are like, I think they're like tripling down at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Here is the actual issue that I think is so funny. This is number seven. Um, At issue is a bill passed by the legislature in 2019. Again, you might recognize somebody here. The bill signed into law by Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham requires a background check when conducting a sale of a firearm. It allows for exceptions for police and things like that. But this this is my favorite part, Tim, and then we'll get to the doubling down. Senate Majority Leader Peter Wirth a Santa Fe Democrat who co-sponsored the 2019 legislation said the intent of the law was never to require background checks. When someone seeks to destroy their own gun quote, ultimately it would be up to the courts to review the specific facts and statutory language, assuming there is a challenge to the law translation y'all on your own. I got my bona fides. (laughs) Yeah. Well, beyond that, I mean, that's no different. I got mine. <laughs> that, that's no different than when, when the feds, the ATF decides they want to go around and ban M855 exactly. ammunition and stuff like that. And then the the actual congressman that wrote the, the handgun law that banned yep. armor-piercing handgun ammo, not rifle ammo, handgun ammo, they right. came out, wrote a letter to the ATF and said, hey, you banning this import of 762 by 39 trying to ban M855, violates the spirit of the law. We were only seeking to ban armor-piercing handgun ammo, not rifle ammo, Correct. because rifle ammo penetrates armor naturally. And so uh, it, ATF, what did they do? Well, they backed off the M855, but you still have the 545 ban. You still have the 762 by 39 ban right. in place. Anything with steel core in it. So, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. So, I mean, it's sweet that this guy came out, tried to defend his fellow gun grabbers. But if you didn't write the legislation that way. Correct. I think you hit on something so powerful, though, because what organization, like you said, does the exact same thing? Well, that's not the way the, the law was written, the intent, really. Let's talk about the Gun Control Act of 1968. Let's talk about the NFA. Um, how about the Gun Control Act of 19, I believe, uh, 80, 86? I mean, like, goodness yeah. gracious. Yeah, you, you have the 86 machine gun ban. You have an 89 import yeah. ban. I mean, we got the 94 crime bill. And Nix is wrapped uh, yeah. up and all that so with the Clinton era stuff. Yeah. We have so many. And the idea is, and this is the principle of the video, if you take nothing else from this before we kind of show how they're doubling down understand it's not the law that they pass that is the problem the laws that they pass is the impetus for other agencies and other people and other potential tyrants to use in a manipulated way to achieve their means that's the point you just don't you just don't put it there for them to do it that's the whole point yep yeah, this gets into a whole discussion they, around Chevron deference and, and regulatory agencies yep. and stuff that we've had many times before. I don't want to go back down that rabbit hole. But yeah, nope. it does. When, when they write these laws and they're ambiguous, especially at the federal level, then it gets assigned to an agency like ATF, and then they get to go out there mm-hmm. and just make up laws willy-nilly. Well, this is how we interpret it. Well, it doesn't say anything about that. Well, that's exactly. how we interpret it. 
Chevron exactly deference. right. And like you said, and like you said, not trying to get down that rabbit hole because that's a rabbit hole. Me and Tim could go down for yeah. eons. But but they they doubled, tripled, and quadrupled down here. And this isn't even goofy gun grabbers. Man. No, no, they've elevated themselves this time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you want to throw up eight and nine because this was on you, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 throw up let's throw up eight and nine because um well actually th- there's two eights. I can't really say eight and nine. But yeah. um yeah, we have <laughs> we have these guys. So keep in mind, another part of the news story was that the 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 sheriff said that they were going to reach out to these folks and let them know <laughs> that they wanted to look into this and ask questions, right? And then the, the sheriff also went so far as to say that clearly the law was not followed here, and I want to mm. make sure that everybody's on the same page and everybody's following the law as they should be, right? So the sheriff has already said he believes they're breaking the law, okay? Mm-hmm. Now- there are videos on their on their Twitter page. You can go and you can see one of the spokespeople, a woman in particular, talking about various things. Clearly, she's not the sharpest knife in the drawer, and I think she's the one making these posts. So now she's currently under investigation for illegal arms trafficking, potentially, right? And right. she's probably been contacted by the sheriff looking for more information. And what does she do when she gets up this morning? She tweets this. I wish all the naysayers, that's us. <laughs> could could have seen the very real palpable look of relief on people's faces when they saw their unwanted guns being destroyed. We will continue to offer this service to anyone who needs it in New Mexico. So what has she just said here? Well, she's like <laughs> she's trying to excuse her illegal acts by invoking emotion, typical leftist approach to yep. everything in life. And, yep. and then, you know, it's all about making people happy and making them relieved. Yeah. And, 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 and if she faces- uses... Yeah, and she uses the word destroyed. No, sweetie, go back to dismantled because they're not destroyed per ATF regulations. And then Mm -hmm. they're going to go ahead and offer the service to anybody that wants it. We're going to do it anyway. We're doing so much good. There's so many happy faces. This is like Trump speaking, but like with real sentences. (laughs) Right? (laughs) Oh, and then the other one in the group. So she she posted that. I think it's her. And then just Mm -hmm. a few hours ago before we started filming, there's another tweet. All right. And this one says, <laughs> do it again. Here we go. Yesterday, a local artist reached out to us to turn these guns into an art piece. And then she links to the previous post. I just told you where she's doubling down on stupid with the same image of the same illegal firearms. And now she's talking about yes. giving them to an artist. That so sounds it, like another transfer to and she's And she's claiming the whole time there's been no transfers. There's, we're good. <laughs> Dude, you just can't make this stuff up, man. You just can't. If they have an attorney, which oh. I can't believe they do at this point, if, because if they've been contacted and they haven't said, you need to talk to my attorney, they're just answering phone calls and they're making these tweets. If they have an attorney out there, this attorney has to be pulling their hair out. But I'm going to go with there's no oh, attorney involved be. because this their entire Twitter feed is a confession of guilt. And they just keep posting more stupidity. <laughs> it is so epic they to watch. down. But I have such amazing emotions and my peak of my my ideas and my intentions are so pure. You're still gonna be in trouble. Yeah. Oh you know, man, she even that made a was video, the gift. She even made a video saying that all we care about is is saving the children, <laughs> their favorite shtick. Mm. But do you? They give these well, guns to children. I, I hope you enjoy saving children from prison. Right. And oh then meanwhile, she's saying, well, it's just about saving guns. We're, we're nonpartisan. We don't, we're not anti-gun. Oh, and then, you, then just scroll you? down one more page. And there she is standing there with the Go Safe Act poster standing next to the, right. one of the Congress critters that are pushing it. <laughs> right. That's just to save right. the children, also, though. We're not partisan. Children. Uh, exactly. No, we are completely neutral. Go Democrats. Um, yeah. <laughs> and this is why <laughs> I say she's not the sharpest good. knife in the drawer. She contradicts herself no. just within hours. It's just stunning yeah. stupidity, but it, yeah, it's not a good look. The same it's woman put look. either one of us under the prison. If we had done something similar. Oh, absolutely. We would be evil. We would be responsible for everything that goes wrong in the world. I heard there was a shooting on Mars. My fault. Anyway. Yeah. yeah that's where we'd be. That's, that's where we'd be, Tim. 